Ty Rob here again. I need to do a video right now that uh, in response to. Uh, there's a lot of people that don't understand the come out of her or who she is. And I just want to quit, put some clarification up of what God's shown me, not only by His Spirit but by the Scripture. It's just evidently laid out. And you take your time and examine exactly what everything means in the language it's written in. English and then even the original text is a little more clear. Um, I just want to go over that. Coming out of her, okay, the angel told John that her, we got to go to uh, verse uh, Revelation 17 and 18, and you go there, that's where you'll find uh, the voice from heaven saying, Come out, saying, Come out of her, my people. Obviously, that's God. Um, if Jesus is speaking it, it's still God, right? So, Jesus, God, is speaking that. Now, it also gives two reasons. It's come out of her, my people, so you don't re don't partake in her sins and receive of her plagues. So, God doesn't want us to partake in her sins. Of course, He doesn't want us partaking in any sin. Nor does He want us receiving in her plagues. And it's something where if you're in it, you're receiving, you're partaking in the sins. So, being in it, is a sin. So it causes one to, you can't be in it and not sin, is what he's saying there. The angel told John straight up, and I think it was, uh, it's either, I think it was uh, chapter 17, 17 or 18, it's all the same vision of the whore who rides the beast, and it's destroyed by the beast. So um, if you go, The angel told John that, that that woman that you saw, the whore, her, um, the great city Babylon, he said, this, that is the great city that made the merchants of the earth rich. The angel also said that um, it's the great city that rules over the kings of the earth. Okay, and um, so there's a lot more than one city that rules over the kings. I mean, all the great cities rule over the kings of the earth. Make merchants of the earth rich, right? So, what do all the cities have in common to make merchants rich? Is corporations make merchants rich? And you got to figure too. These great cities are. They have proclaimed. Man has proclaimed them to be themselves corporations. And what has the church become in the last? shouldn't say the church, but individual churches throughout the land and the world now become in the last hundred years or so. I think it's like 19, around 1913. I think one person said about the 1800s, late 1800s, started doing the corporation. The churches that you find in the phone book and on the corners in the towns are in most, if not all cases, proclaiming themselves to be incorporations of a government entity. Okay, so, and a business status entity. And when they sign the paper that that uh, causes them to become, a, that they proclaim themselves to become a corporation with, they're agreeing by signing to that the state, like the government, is the creator of the church. They're that they are involved in. And so you cannot put yourself under a leadership head of a church that professes that because then you're submitting to their authority in a false um, a false um, witness of what Christ people should be. Right? So in that way you sin when you're in it. And What's more important to fellowship with a body of believers that's under that? Or to obey God, especially when it's written straight up, come out of her, my people? And He doesn't want us to receive the plagues. He doesn't want us to be punished for it. Because we will be punished for it. He said it. And otherwise, why would He say, come out of her, my people? And there aren't very other, since Jesus spoke and His words were recorded in the Bible, there's not very uh, many other direct orders from God in the Bible. I think the only one is that one. 
come out of for my people. So we really need to take that to heart. And as there's a lot of other people doing videos of the crucial timing of the our opportunity to get out is very much um, on the edge of being over. So our chances are about up. So if you're not out of that whole situation, you need to get out. And God indicated to me not only to come out of that corporation, the, the churches, but to get myself out of corporations. Like if you have a membership to, like a, say a membership card to a grocery store. Grocery stores are corporations. If you have a membership card in your name that professes you to be a member of that corporation, you're re that means you're saying you're a member of a body that has a head other than Jesus. And I know you're probably thinking, oh, well, that's not what I mean by it. But that's what it is. It's a proclamation. It's a, you're saying it because you're acknowledging it. So if you come out of that, get rid of it, God will bless you and he'll put you in a safer place for what's about to hit. He says, come out of my people lest you partake in her sins and receive her plagues. He doesn't want you to receive plagues from sinning within it and neither should you. And I'm concerned too. I'd love to see as many people come out of that and be spared and preserved by God. Okay, as, as we can. Not raptured out. There's no rapture to save us out. Jesus prayed. He said, Father, I do not pray you take them out of the world, but that you protect them from the evil. And I got a revelation on a, when I was making a video, but the volume's way down, and I've had people uh, complain they can't hear it. Really, you need some loud speakers to hear it, that's for sure. But I was learning, I was realizing something. The word rapture has to do with wonder, being in a state of wonder. Okay? Not being lifted up out of something, but being caught in ecstasy. Um, kind of out of your mind in a way. And if you go to the first, uh, sorry, yeah, second, second Thessalonians chapter 2, Paul writes that the coming of the evil one is, you know, the, uh, the, law, the man of sin in the church. There you go. He describes it perfectly. He says, the coming of the evil one uh, is the man of sin, it says, is in all power, signs, and lying wonders, in all deceivableness of them that perish because they receive not the love of the truth. I think I'm mixing it up a little bit, but the, the point is, you read that straight, you'll see that it says that the evil one, he's, he operates by lying signs and wonders in the church. Now, the word wonders matches the word rapture. Okay, so you got to go to John, too. When he saw the whore in Revelation 17, he wondered with great admiration. So here they have the rapture, the wonder in this church to go after the man of sin. It all ties together. So no wonder everyone's raptured in the churches of this big rapture wonder. And they're just in wonder and awe of the whore. That rides the beast it is uh, saying that that beast is a pet. Now, that particular beast is a global beast, and it hasn't come into full um, alignment and force yet. It's about to, but the table is set for everything to just swing in under it. And the whore is what we're looking at dealing with. God wants us to come out of her. We should be about our father's business. When he tells us to do something, we need to figure out and do it. Otherwise, now, there's two reasons to do it. You want to save your own skin and not get the plagues? Yeah. But if you want to obey Father and Jesus, you'll do it because he's telling you to come out, because he doesn't want you to sin. Even if uh, you're going to get punished anyway if you come out, you should want to come out because you want to obey him. If you love him, keep his commandments, right? Um, so if you have his spirit and you want to obey him, go with this. And I know it's like a narrow, a narrow thing, you know, because it's like if you don't do it this certain way, it won't work. But you've got to consider these things in prayer. And what do you have to lose by doing it? You know what I mean? But really, I mean, go figure. It doesn't take much 
I wasn't very smart in school, but His Spirit led me to it. But it's there in the Bible, you know. He doesn't have to tell us in a dream or a vision or indicate to us because it's written. Now He'll confirm if to you to help you understand and believe it. But you know what I mean. You don't need some kind of big vision or prayer thing to get through this. It's written right there in the Scripture. You know, we have Bibles, and we shouldn't be too lazy not to read them. You know. Um, Look at the lazy servant Jesus talked about. He he buried the talent in the ground and didn't do anything with it. Walked on about his own business, what he felt like doing. You know, so we need to press into what God wants us to do. Be diligent. Be found uh, in His kingdom as much as we can. Continue to enter in. Continue to enter further in. We can always go further into Him, and that's 